Hi, I'm Roger Bindle. I'm with uh, Rebecca Nelson from Nelson and Paid, and I'm here today to talk to her a little bit about aquaponics. Aquaponics is a method of food production where you combine raising fish in a tank and plants in a soilless system. So you feed the fish, the fish waste breaks down through biological filtration, and then the nutrient-rich water feeds plants, and you end up harvesting both the fish and the plants. And tell us a little bit about Nelson and Paid. Nelson and Paid is a company based in Montella, Wisconsin, uh, but we have a global reach. We've got customers in almost 30 countries, and we provide aquaponic systems, training, and then long-term grower support. So what's the difference between uh, aquaponics and hydroponics? Well, hydroponics is growing plants without soil, and to provide fertilizer, you mix up a mined and manufactured fertilizer. And aquaponics uses the soil as production part, but we put fish in a tank, we feed those fish, and the fertilizer comes from the fish waste that breaks down. So it's an all-natural process, it's very sustainable, and the output is high-quality fish and vegetables. Talk a little bit about why grow indoors uh, with such an elaborate system versus outdoors. Well, growing indoors allows you to produce food year-round. And that's really important, especially in a climate like ours where we only have a couple of months of outdoor farming season. And when we grow indoors, you do it every, you can harvest food every single day of the year. It never stops. It's also a great place to be. This is December and we have snow outside, it's cold, and it's 75 in the greenhouse and beautiful weather. And I'm dressed for the winter and I'm starting to sweat. Yeah. So yeah, I notice it is warm in here. Uh, and what do you say to people that want to have fresh caught fish uh, versus uh, catching it from a system grown inside? Well, when you, when you raise fish in a tank with controlled inputs and high quality feed, the, the end product, the fish, is a very good quality fish. There's no contamination, which is really important to note. There's also no antibiotics. There's no growth hormones. It's just fish raised in a very clean water system with quality food inputs. And the end result is excellent and, I think, cleaner than wild caught. Now, how would you tell people, you know, the difference between this and uh, fish that are grown on a fish farm, which is what you typically see at the grocery store, I notice? Yeah, well, fish uh, grown in a typical fish farm, you're just raising fish and you have a feed input and you're just harvesting those fish. So what we're doing is actually taking advantage of that feed input in two ways. One, we're harvesting the fish from our system, but two, more importantly, that same feed input generates fish waste, which grows all of the plants that we grow. So it's much more sustainable and much, much more efficient because same feed input produces for every pound of fish we harvest, we produce 14 to 16 pounds of vegetables. And I guess what I was really probably comparing to is when I see fish farm in the stores, I'm always thinking they're the big netted areas in the ocean, and now they're talking about microplastics in the ocean. So that's probably my more what I was thinking about. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of types of fish farming. One of them are the net pens in the ocean. And anytime you're outdoors, whether it's a fish farm in the ocean or a fish farm that uh, utilizes a stream and raises trout, there's always the potential for contamination. And growing indoors, that's something we eliminate, is that potential for contamination. It's much cleaner, it's much safer, it's much healthier. And I guess the last question would be, where do you see the future of uh, microponics in uh, the next 10 years? Uh, you know, the future of aquaponics is, is unlimited in, in what I see. If you look back at the last 10 years, the growth that we've seen, the fact that we produce a protein crop and a vegetable crop, one, all from one very sustainable, efficient system, and we can do it in any climate in the world, I think that uh, we have a very, very bright future, not just as a company and not just what we do, but also, most importantly, on the impact of the availability of fresh food around the world from these systems. Well, thank you for your time and showing me through the system here and everything. So here we are in December uh, in Wisconsin. There's snow around outside and plants are growing and the fish are swimming, I guess. so. That's right. It's like that every day of the year. Thanks, okay, Roger. Thank you.